Hello YouTube. It's been a while since I've done one of these type of videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, install this car mod for Flight Sim that people have been asking me about for a really long time, start to finish. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I will provide the links to both the car mod and the custom configs at the bottom in the description. So the first thing we'll want to do is go to the website for the car mod, uh, flightsim.to, which looks like this. Now, if you, got, if you don't have an ad blocker like Adblock Plus, you're probably going to have a bunch of ads popping up. Uh, just be careful what you click on. But you see this green download now button. That's what you're going to click on. This will pop up right here. And then what you want to do is main file. You'll want to click on the green download button on the right. As you can see, um, you'll have to create an account. You'll see like a start download button. And when you go from there, once it downloads, you will have a zip file. Inside that zip file, there will be a folder. You will drag this folder into your community folder, which you can find here. In your flight simulator directory under packages it'll look like this when you drag it in here just make sure that the folder looks like this with all this in it once you have done that we can go on to the next step all right on to the next step so now what we're going to do is we're going to drag the configs into the folder for the car mod to do this you're going to want to Go and open up your zip file, which will be the car configs that I provide in the description. You want to drag all these config files into sim objects, which you can do here. Go to airplanes, then Mercedes Coupe, and you just drag them into this folder. And then you'll want to replace afterwards, replace all the files. Once you have done that, then you're done, and we can proceed on with the in-game stuff. Alright, now that we've installed our car mod, <coughs> the very most important thing about the car mod is you'll need to set up the right keybinds, and they have to be specific. Not only that, you're also going to want to use a controller like an Xbox controller or something. I highly recommend that. If you don't have one already, I would definitely recommend getting one for this. Otherwise, you might not have a great experience. I've never tried it with a steering wheel yet, but I'm pretty sure steering wheel probably would work if you set it up right. I have not set mine up, so uh, I won't be able to show you that. Um, we want to go to control options. Since I already got presets set up, um, it's pretty much self-explanatory, but say you don't have a preset. You're going to want to open up your preset manager. And then you'll want to create a duplicate of whatever profile you selected. Now, to be more specific, you'll need to select things, for example, like controller driving. Um, in our case, what I'll do is I'll set it to default. That's where you'll go to open preset manager. Then you'll duplicate this. It'll duplicate the default settings for your controller. Name it whatever you want. I name I happen to name mine driving. Um, since I already got a preset for driving, I'm gonna show you the main essential key binds that you'll need. Throttle. Search by throttle first. I have throttle cut binded to my B button on the controller. I have my throttle 90%, which is basically full throttle, binded to my A button. So, I only really use this to accelerate. Um, all the other throttle stuff I'm going to show you here momentarily with the keyboard. So, um, the other thing you'll want is rudder. So 
so for your rudder axis you want to make this your left stick which is this right here it'll be your left stick left and right and then you'll want to check mark reverse axis um, normally that'll be binded for your ailerons mm. your ailerons axis just unbind that if, if there's any bindings that are binded to something else unbind the previous ones um, those are the two main things that you'll need so now you've done that we're gonna go to keyboard profile and this is where the fun stuff begins so pay close attention for this so for your throttle the way I have mine set up I have throttles 10% to 90% binded with all my numpad keys now some of your numpad keys will have things like like go like aileron left or aileron right or whatever some of those are binded by default and then you'll just all you'll, you'll have to do is just figure out which um, trolls are binded and then just unbind them before you bind the new one <clears throat> it'll tell you so as you can see I got my throttle 10% bind it to my numpad 1 I got my throttle 20% bind it to my numpad 2 throttle 30% bind it to numpad 3 and then 40% numpad 4 50% numpad 5 and so on reason why you want this um, once you accelerate say for example maybe uh, I'm on the highway and I don't want to go full full throttle speeds which is basically um, 160 170 miles per hour if you're going full throttle it's just gonna keep going faster and faster but if you go that fast you're basically gonna be all over the place like if you're going on the highway or something I usually have my throttle percentage anywhere from 30% to 60% depending on the wind direction. And in rare cases, I'll even have it at 20%. But that's only, you'll want to press those once you've accelerated. So I usually do 90% throttle till I've, till I've got almost up to that speed. Then I'll cut it to 30% with pressing my numpad 3. But yeah, once you have uh, binded all those, you're pretty much all set. And then you just get in game and try it out and get used to the trolls a little bit. It'll take some time getting used to, but once you've figured everything out and you get used to it, um, you'll get the hang of it. Anyways, I hope this tutorial helps solve a lot of unanswered questions. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, you can leave a comment down below. And uh, I will also provide the links to the descriptions for the car mod and the configs. Anyways, thank you for watching this tutorial and we will see you later.